Hello, Few Candy here, and what a time to be a City Skylines fan. Not only did Paradox reveal that City Skylines 2 is actually finally officially coming and a lot sooner than we all imagined, but we've now also got an absolute ton of new content for Cities 1 out today and also on the way. But with that, I can imagine a lot of you are sitting there wondering if it's worth you even investing in this new content if we're getting a whole new game in a matter of months. So let's take a dive into the three new content creator packs, review them, rate them, and I'll give you my honest opinion on whether any or all of them are worth you getting. So let's kick it off with Shopping Malls by King Leno. So the pack consists of 53 new low density commercial buildings, plus one new district style, so you can get them all nicely zoned in, six new unique buildings and 10 new props. Although without Find It mod, you will not be able to access all of those props as they do not appear in the Parks Content Creator Pack menu, just to flag to you. So taking a look at the zonable low density commercial assets, they are freaking awesome. <laughs> Such a massive step up from the base game assets and they can really provide a fresh modern look to your commercial areas. Also providing slightly more mid density in style, which is massively missing from the game as well. The addition of lots of similar variations to buildings is welcome too, so modded players can do some nice building combos and fusing to get some really awesome looking larger retail spaces with these assets with nice consistency amongst the different building assets. But my one critique is actually the lack of commercial signage. Of course the base game went way overboard as we know on the commercial signage, I mean the high density assets, I bobbed them off. <laughs> Those horrendous signs, they're gone. <laughs> so it may seem weird me saying this now but it kind of feels odd with nothing on these buildings. The modded players can obviously add signage to them to add that little bit of extra realism but for those on vanilla you may be left feeling a little bit flat from that perspective. And onto the unique buildings with this pack there are two open air mall assets which are to me the stars of the entire pack. They work really nicely in combo next to each other to provide a really nice long flowing open air mall. Uh, they are just absolutely <laughs> gorgeous assets and in my opinion these alone are worth getting this pack for. Then we have two new grocery stores which are a nice alternative to the hypermarket asset we all know and love and with these combined you can create a super nice out of town retail park which has not really been possible before with the assets available to date obviously without the workshop of course. Then onto the shopping plaza, which is a perfect solution to a big box retail strip. However, this feels a little bit flat for me because with no mods, you can only place this in once. So it's a very, very small big box retail strip and kind of may feel a little bit underwhelming from that perspective. And similar to the zoned assets, there's a massive lack of retail signage on them, which feels like a little bit unrealistic. If you have access to mods, you can obviously modify that and duplicate it as well to create a really nice long big box retail space. But for a vanilla player, this one falls a bit flat in my opinion. But we do come on to the final asset, which is the grand finale of this pack, the Mall of Marvels. And well, it is just that marvellous. Well, apart from the really obviously out of place props, that is. So overall, I would give this pack a four star rating out of five, knocking one star off for the lack of signage and the fact the strip mall can only be placed once for vanilla players. But here's some reasons to buy this pack. So if you're not a fan of the style of the base game low density commercial, 100% get this. You get that lovely modern vibe to it. Two open air mall plazas, they speak for themselves. <laughs> you can buy this pack just for them. The ability to create proper out of town retail parks as well with those grocery stores is a really really nice effect um, and if you play modded it's a definite buy for those big box retail parks once you've duplicated that asset and added those commercial signage to it. And reasons to avoid, the only thing I can really think is if you don't like modern architecture. And so we move on to sports venues by Bad Peanut. Now here we get a massive 12 new unique stadiums, 10 new parks, a metro station and 4 new props. In all honesty, my review of this pack is going to be pretty short and is simply this is a must buy. <laughs> the stadiums are all freaking awesome. There is not one of them that I do not like. 
Um, although in some ways it could have been nice to see more variety in the sports as we're limited to football, American football and baseball for the big stadiums. But like, holy moly, we now have the possibility to create some amazing Olympic sports parks in combination with the campus varsity sports assets, stadium complexes and training facilities when we combine them with the park assets which also come with this pack. So looking at those, even though the stadiums are truly amazing and such a great variation of them within the pack as well, where this pack is a real must buy for me is with these park assets. Training grounds, community soccer pitches, just so, so needed within the base game. As a modded player, I always have a couple of local community ground pitches in my asset list, so this now just abolishes the need for those. And yes, we also have cricket and Aussie rules football included with these two, such a great addition. Plus the inclusion of the goalpost props is fantastic and allows us to create our own more low key community sports spaces as well. Now the Metro Station asset which comes with the pack is really nice. Uh, it does have quite a large footprint, but again, we're able to see down inside to watch the Sims doing their thing, which is always nice. But massive stadium sign as well means it's gonna be somewhat limiting in terms of where you can place this in a city because it's always gonna stay stadium station. But we do get three variations of it to match some of the themes of the stadiums within the pack which is a really nice detail so overall to me this is a must buy and it's an easy five star pack reasons to buy inclusion of the community sports fields parks is just massive for getting that realistic community spaces that we also love uh, if you love sports obviously that's a reason to buy and honestly the only reason i can think to avoid is if you don't like sports maybe And finally, we come to the Africa in Miniature content creator pack. So we get a fair amount of content with this pack, including 11 unique buildings, two monuments, two new parks, new service buildings, two new props, and new low density commercial growable buildings. But in all honesty, it's a really mixed bag from my perspective. Let's start with the growables. Standing alone, some of these are really nice assets and the African vibe clearly comes through, so the asset maker has done a great job from that perspective. However, with no district theme for these, they end up spawning in randomly in the middle of your low density zoned areas, obviously as a vanilla player, which looks honestly kind of weird. They definitely don't blend in with the standard stuff that we all know from City Skyline, so vanilla players are gonna really struggle with this one, I think. Great assets if you want to make a small African themed neighbourhood, but it's not enough to really sustain variety. And some of them just within the context of the CS environment really look pretty out of place. Which is a shame because some of the assets are super nice, the little tiki tables outside. But on the plus side, the two new props we are getting are both super cute if you're doing a tropical beach build. The service buildings again are nice looking assets but within context so the police station i really like it but it wouldn't sit particularly well in amongst all the standard city skylines assets and the school is totally on theme i have to I have to commend that but again we don't have enough assets in this pack alone to create an entirely african themed city so it would be very tough to blend this in realistically with all the other assets in the game but the national library now that is one heck of an asset that is a reason to buy this pack alone. I absolutely love this one and it would work super well in a city of any kind. And onto the uniques and monuments. Now I do quite like these. A great variety of large and small assets with the inclusion of the mosque too, which is great to see. The gold tower is, well, yeah, just, just that, pretty gold. But I'm loving the smaller buildings and the plaza. They could definitely blend in well to any downtown area and add nice unique building features. And the monuments are stunning as well, really like those. There's very few of the base game monuments I would ever actually consider using, as most are kind of struggling how to put this, but out of this world, shall we say? But these are perfect. Realistically sized and definitely something I'll consider adding to my cities. So overall, this pack is a bit of a miss for me, especially if you're a vanilla player. The risk of having the commercials spawn into entirely different styled areas one to avoid. And obviously the uniques are just that unique. You can't place them over and over again. Modded players will have more fun with this pack, however. So overall, I'd give it quite a low one star with that start almost entirely based on the National Library asset, if I'm completely honest. 
So reasons to buy. If you're creating an African themed area, spot on for you. Get it, obviously, no brainer. The National Library asset and Unique Plaza, 100% reasons to buy. They're the best assets and some of the best assets actually in the whole game, I would say. Reasons to avoid. Vanilla players will obviously struggle with very inconsistent, low density commercial areas and the assets really don't blend well with the existing game assets that we already have. So that does it for my review of the three content creator packs. So we got four stars for shopping malls, five stars for sports venues and just a measly little one star. I feel bad for Africa in miniature. But I'd say it's 100% worth investing in some of these still. Cities 2 is unlikely to be launched as advanced as we have CS1 now, and you've still got months to play around with these and have fun with these assets. Plus, if you're using my Insta Gaming link, these packs really don't cost much. Check that out in the description below. And one final thought to leave you with, the new free update is the best one yet. So if you don't have mass transit and you're considering only buying one new thing, get mass transit over all of these content creator packs. You will not be disappointed with all of the new transport options added. But that is all from me for now. So I'll catch you again next time. Bye bye.